Right, we're, we're here today on uh, Sunday the 18th of February on a lovely dry day in Worcestershire and uh, we've got a nice surprise to look at. Um, it's the first one in the UK, possibly the first commercial one available. It's FJ Dynamics AG1. How exciting. So we're going to unbox it and see what we've got in the box. Uh, we've got a lovely instruction manual, but we don't need that, do we? Uh, brackets and screws cables in here and box of goodies right we don't need that where do we start let's see what's in here looks like we've got a nice screen tablet key there we go we've got a nice tablet FJ Dynamics. I'm just going to throw the rubbish down on the floor. Uh, that looks quite funky. I've seen some brackets. That looks good quality. Uh, delivery note. or in box. So what have we got? We've got a tablet. With a bracket on the back, good ram mount. We use them on the main auto steer kits. Really good quality. Brackets and screws. So yeah, we're going to have a quick look at the bracket. Really good quality. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the uh, screws for working with this. And uh, we've got some sticky pads and long screws. I've got no idea what they're for. Right, we don't need the box. Um, let's have a look in here. Ooh. We've got a dome on some funky metal brackets. So yeah, this is the same dome that we use on the auto steer kits. Um, it looks like it's demountable, looking at it, with four stainless screws. That's what the sticky pads are for, and I guess the uh, screws are for further mounting. Yeah, sticky pads are the same. There's the other kit, sticking it to the roof. So we'll keep those there, get rid of the box. So we've got a dome, we've got the screen, we've got the screws, we've got the manual. We've got a key for locking the tablet by the looks of it. On. That's it, so the tablet won't fall off. We've got lots of access points on the side 
so you can still get to your buttons. That looks good. It's got a nice screen protector on it at the moment, that won't last long. And there's our key. Cables, let's see what cables have we got. It looks like it's got... Don't need the box. <clears throat> Cable ties for keeping it tidy in the cab. Um, this is, I'm guessing, the fitting to go in the dome. Not sure. Remote on off switch by the looks of it. Or some sort. And a power cable. Um, I think it would be rude not to power this up and just see what it says. So we've just set it up quickly on the car. Um, we're going to power up on the little funky little button. And something's happening. Let's see. So it's charging um, and we'll start the tablet possibly. So um, we've created a line, A, B, um, to use it you just press record and it starts painting where you've been. Obviously this is in demo mode, we're not driving around a field, um, but it will work in the field obviously. Um, uh, this system is intended for guidance, market. So um, it, it will give you a boundary that is RTK accurate, but the guidance lines will be perfect, but you've got to drive to them. It is not auto steer. Um, they are talking about developing it, so it will do auto steer in the future. But obviously there's a pathway and considerable cost to get it up to an AT2 system. Um, it is compatible with the farm management portal called uh, FJD Farm Connect. Um, which will allow you to do all of your management for RPA and everything else. Don't really know what else to say really. It does what it says on the tin and it will shortly be available. If you need to contact uh, C Wheeler and Son in the UK.